With COVID cases on the rise, you might be thinking about what type of test is best to get. 28's news reporter Katrina Kincaid is live in the newsroom to explain the difference in the tests that are available. Right, right now, there's the PCR tests and the rapid tests like the Binax Now kits. Those are actually sold for some at pharmacies for at-home testing. Now, the PCR tests go to a lab and give you results in about 28 to 48 hours. If you're negative, you'll receive an email. If you're positive, you'll get a phone call. That test is typically more accurate because it's more sensitive. It looks for the DNA sequence of the virus in you, whereas the rapid test takes 15 minutes and gives you the results right there on that test on your screen. It is very accurate if you're are symptomatic and positive because it looks for antigens or the COVID-19 proteins, which you would have a lot of in the first one to seven days of actually being symptomatic. Now, both tests are currently offered at the Eastfield Mall Stop the Spread testing site. Right now with the winter weather and the cold weather out there, um, what we're recommending is that people blow their nose uh, because it can be very viscous. So we need people to actually blow their nose out because uh, we don't want it to have all that mucus on that swab. Also, the PCR test swab is smaller because typically the test takers are asymptomatic, whereas for the rapid test, the swab is bigger. It's longer to give more distance between yourself and the person testing you because it's assumed that you are symptomatic. But if you are negative on the rapid test, they do recommend that you get a PCR test because that looks more closely, as I said, at the virus in your system, in your DNA, and can tell more accurately if you are not symptomatic. Working for you, Katrina Kincaid, 22 News.